Right, let's see if this body mic works. Okay, can you hear me? Yep. yep. Good. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the Open Web Application Security Project London Chapter Meeting. And uh, many thanks for Stephen Rowan for introducing us to this wonderful venue. JP Morgan, this is first time for us here. We have done our meetings at um, other places like Morgan Stanley, HSBC, Barclays, Lloyd's Ranking Group, and this is another big bang for us. So uh, we're very pleased to be here. Okay, so um, this is the agenda for tonight. Okay, so we started with a bit of networking, snacks and drinks. I hope you will manage to grab something. Um, then it comes uh, my insurer's uh, turn to uh, give a bit of welcome and give an update on OWASP what we've been doing in OWASP chapter in London and OWASP Foundation is doing globally. Then we're going to have talk number one from uh, David, who's going to talk us about flows, uh, design flows and authentication solutions and uh, how bad things can happen. And there's a live demo on it. I hope it will work and the gods of live demos will be nice to us this time. Then um, after that we're going to have a lightning talk from uh, Dennis, and we're going to have two more people joining us on Skype remotely. And it's going to be introduction into OWASP Summit, a very big event. Is it five days? Yes. Yeah. Five day event, which is planned this summer. Um, and uh, the guys, the organizers, are going to talk about um, what's going to happen, all the tracks and workshops at the summit. After that, we're going to have a break and more snacks, drinks, and a bit more networking. And then after that, Dennis will talk to us about OWASP SAM maturity model system that he has built on GitHub. He's been working on this for quite some time. And after that, we're going to have uh, more networking and beer, probably in the local pub. So I'm yet to ask JP Morgan, guys, what is the best local pub to go to? All right, so we're scheduled to finish at 8.45. Okay, so um, my name is Sam, Sam Stepanian. The guy we here is my co-leader, Sharif. We are your OWASP chapter leaders. We're very friendly guys. Uh, come and talk to us if you have any questions about application security in OWASP in London or in the UK. Um, you somehow managed to get here and find us. For those of you who are here uh, by accident or because someone told you that this event is running or because you saw it on Eventbrite, uh, this is how you can find out about future events. So you can join our mailing list. Just look for it. You can follow us on Twitter, or just OWASP London, like us on Facebook. You can subscribe to our channel on YouTube, as you uh, may have noticed, uh, Sharif is videoing all the events, all the talks are available, so those of you are unable to make it, if you want to watch the presentation again, you can do it from the comfort of your home. And those of you who are on Slack, I know that some of the developers and like Slack, which is the new IRC these days, uh, I come from the old time when we use IRC, these days every, day everyone is using Slack. You can chat to us on Slack as well. Okay, so let's talk about OWASP very briefly. So who are we? We are a global, non-profitable charitable organization. And what are we doing? Our goal is to improve software security, right? Uh, we are a vendor neutral community, so a community-based organization. There are lots of vendors who contribute to us but we are not tied to any vendor. This is what makes us, makes us so good. So, and the thing which makes us so good, I made it on bold, why you should talk to us, because we are the collective wisdom of the best minds in application security worldwide. Absolutely love this bullet, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's who we are. So, what do we do? We provide free tools, free guidance, documentation, free events for you. All our meetings are free to attend free beer included, and I think wine tonight as well, for a change. Now, we are all volunteers, none of us is paid to do this. There are 45,000 OWAS members worldwide, and uh, it's growing. Now, you don't have to be a member to come to our meetings at all. OWAS membership is actually just a donation to our global foundation. It's only 50 US dollars per year. However, what it gives you, it gives you a chance to apply uh, to some very good discounts to cyber security conferences worldwide. Okay, and you can join as an individual member or you can join as a corporate member. And we have uh, quite a lot of corporate <coughs> members. 
Uh, these are the organizations which support London chapter. So, uh, mentioned Vericode, ThoughtWorks, Intelligent Environments, Skype, and Expedia, where we had our meetings before, Imperial, and of course, JP Morgan, who are kindly hosting us tonight here. Uh, globally, I will probably recognize a lot of big names on the list. Right? There's uh, UI, there's uh, CA, Technologies, Fortinet, Oracle, Rapid7, Symantec, um, uh, Synopsys. Um, rack space, so lots and lots of big names here, and all these companies worldwide, they are sponsoring us, and they're helping us because they understand the importance of making software more secure. There are also a few companies which are premium members, and these are the companies which contribute an outstanding amount of effort and actually money to help us. And these are Adobe, Contrast Security, 45, Qualys, Salesforce, and recently we had Waratech who joined the um, corporate members. Now I'm going to hang the mic to my colleague Sharif, who's going to talk about the event that we ran last November, and that was a hackathon event, which was really, really cool. Thanks, Sam. So, hey, everyone. So, one of the things that we wanted to do is to see if we can actually push the needle a little bit. And aside from just the talks, seeing if we can set up some workshops. So last year we did an experiment. We had a sh workshop for two nights. The first night uh, we had uh, some developer training in multiple languages. So that day was just, hey, these are the things that you should watch out for and a little bit of training. The next day, as you can see from this, is essentially a capture the flag competition with prizes. So uh, ThoughtWorks were really generous uh, with their space. Uh, and also we had sponsors, the NCC group, the Pentest partner provided a Wi-Fi kettle. If you guys have seen some of the talks that we've done before, this is a hackable Wi-Fi kettle, so not necessarily a prize uh, if you know how to use it badly. Uh, but we also got a nice drone, some whiskey, which would you know go after an iHeart, and some uh, dog t-shirts and uh, books as well. Uh, that made us do, led us to do seven events last year, which I think was um, uh, a record for that year uh, for OWASP. Um, and we hope to do uh, more, but we were quite surprised and happy with the turnout, and also with the amount of rockets that were thrown around. <laughs> Rocket is probably very yeah, important I, to show the rocket is the rocket. Yeah, and I have to admit, I, I threw quite a lot of those. I enjoyed it a lot more than I care to admit. <laughs> okay, that's not here. Okay, thanks very much, Rip. Right, okay, so uh, OWASP is going to have a very big event. So every year OWASP is running two big events. AppSec USA <laughs> conference and AppSec Europe conference. And this year we're very lucky because AppSec Europe is in the UK. Um, but it's not on mainland UK, it's in Northern Ireland in Belfast. So that's from 8th till 12th of May. So first two days are training for those of you who are interested to learn about application security. And we're going to have the best minds in application security from all around the world. We're going to provide some top class training. And it's probably going to be the cheapest training you can get, right? So one thing to say about all our conferences, they're not free, they cost money, but it's still much cheaper than any other cybersecurity conference. And if you're a member, you get a good discount. Okay, so um, there's a bit of a screenshot from Visit Belfast website, from Visit Belfast uh, uh, newspaper, talks about that cybersecurity expert chose Belfast for 2017 conference. And uh, yeah, you can see the lovely smiling girl over there. It's uh, Michelle Simpson, who is my colleague. She is the chapter leader at Belfast. Okay, so uh, I submitted my paper. I'm definitely going to be there. I think this is going to be there. So um, yeah, if you can make it, you can uh, register and yeah, please join us in Belfast. Next announcement: there is a partner event with SC Magazine, Security Consultant Magazine. Uh, SC Congress, which is happening on 23rd of February. And uh, it's an interesting conference, it's more for senior people, so it's more for CIOs, CISOs, uh, because it's more about, about strategy in cybersecurity. There are some technical talks on malware as well, which um, I think more of the techie guys here will um, appreciate. However, the reason why we talk about this partner event, because we need volunteers. So last year, Sharif and I, 
we manned the OWAS book, so you can see I put pictures there, and this guy's over here, Simon Bennett, the guys who created OWAS Zap penetration testing tool. So we spend the whole day in terms of manning the, the booth and talking to people about what OWASP is and explaining to it, it's not just OWASP top 10, um, what do we do for the community. Now this year, unfortunately, we can't make it, so we need some volunteers, please. So please talk, come and talk to me and Sharif after this. The next big event that OWASP is partnering this year, something called Google Summer of Code. That will be of interest to students. I know there are some UCL students here, because so I gave a talk at UCL. So guys, it will be uh, of interest to all the students. If any of you work with universities, and you know any students, please tell them about this. Okay, so every year Google is sponsoring called Google Summer of Code. And the uh, motto is, for students, flip bits, not burgers, right? So what do students do during the summer, right? So they go and get a job at McDonald's. Say, so, no, don't, don't flip burgers, come and flip bits, because Google is actually gonna pay you. Um, for participating in open source projects and contributing and improving them. And the way how it works, that there will be a mentor. So for each OWASP project, there will be a mentor. And we ask people who are specialists in a particular OWASP project to come forward as mentors. And yeah, then starting from, I think, 20th of March, you know, students will be able to apply as well. So that's how it works. Become a mentor, choose a participating project. If you're good at that, do that. If you're good at SAM, use a whole SAM. Then, yeah, uh, touch base with the project leader, register, get the invitation, help, always invite more students, please. So if you're affiliated with the university, please tell students, so guys from UCL, can you please tell your uh, group mates, right, from computer science year two, um, any other years that we are running this. And Google, I think, pays up to six thousand US dollars to you, and mentors get something about five hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay, so that is the event. You can go to the OWASP page to find out about it. What is new with OWASP? We have something called OWASP Security Shepherd, which is a learning tool, which is a great tool to learn about application security, and it recently became our flagship mature project. So if you don't know it, I urge you to download. It's a great tool to play. It allows you to have competitions as well within your organization, right? So that's from JP Morgan or within your company. You can organize local competitions and uh, there's a leaderboard from that tool which shows you uh, how many points people scored when looking for vulnerabilities. So you learn in a fun way and you compete. Another project which has been updated recently is something called Defect Dojo. So this is a, again a free and open source vulnerability management tool and a tool to manage your application security. You can buy a very expensive tool from vendors or you can get one free from OWASP. Um, and uh, it allows you to manage your application security program, maintain information about products and applications you run within your organization, you can schedule vulnerability scans, triage vulnerabilities, and you can automatically push findings into various defect trackers. So this wonderful tool is based on Django uh, and Python um, platform. There's a couple of screenshots for you so you can see what it looks like. Uh, there is a free version in the cloud, you can play with it, or you can just download and install it and use it within your organizations. Next update, so last October there was an AppSec USA conference in Washington DC. It was a very busy conference, I couldn't make it. I know Sharif couldn't make it to fly to Washington DC, some people went there. I didn't, right, so the, all the videos of all the presentations are now available for free on YouTube. So uh, the weather is quite bad, it's quite cold, so grab a cu cup of coffee and I uh, invite you to watch some of the very interesting talks we had at the Washington DC conference. Uh, next update, I mentioned it last time, the summit is coming, uh, OWASP DevSecCon Summit, which I think now been renamed OWASP Summit. And uh, more about it later, there will be a lightning mm. talk from Dennis and two guys remotely. And uh, now I'd like to invite uh, David for his main talk okay. on the authentication vulnerabilities. Right. 